Yo, what is going on guys? Today I've got a brand new tips video showing you how to master your PCI placement on MLB The Show 22. It's going to take a little bit of time and practicing to get this down, but these drills are going to help you master your muscle memory to get you more perfect, perfect swings. Remember that based on the difficulty you play on, placing your PCI is going to be much different. For example, on Rookie, if you push your joystick all the way, this is as far as it's going to go. Compare that to Hall of Fame where you can cover the entire zone and you have to cover much more area, so slight movements are much harder. So for the very first drill, you're going to want to come over to your sliders and adjust the fastball and off speed pitch speed to go as low as they'll possibly go. The pitches are going to be insanely slow, but you can really work on reading the pitches from the pitcher's hand and determining where they're going to end up at. The more that you do this tracking, you'll build a muscle memory of where the pitches are headed based on how they start out of the hand. You will want to be reading the pitches from the pitcher's release point rather than just looking at the strike zone. If you look at the strike zone, you have to kind of guess where the pitch is going to be and if it'll be in the zone. If you look at, say, the pitcher's chest or his hat, and then right before release, you switch to looking at the release point, you can begin to actually see the spin of the ball which can help you determine what pitch it is where it'll be going and if you should be swinging or not this quick muscle memory will really help you when someone throws a 102 mile per hour fastball up and in i've had times without even realizing what i did i was able to read it and put my pci in the perfect spot on those quick up and in pitches this muscle memory can also help with when a pitch comes out of the hand super funky you know that it's going to be way out of the zone these slow pitches will also give you a lot of time to practice moving your pci to the location the pitch is being thrown in the zone this can take time but the more that you practice it and really focus on reading from the hand, seeing what pitch it is, and then where it went, your brain will automatically pick up those pitches and tell you whether it's a competitive pitch or not. So if you're struggling getting your PCI placement down, something that helps me is if I swing and have bad placement, I try to put my PCI where that last pitch was a few times in between pitches to help myself get used to this slight movement. It's surprising how much doing this in between pitches will help train your thumbs how to make those tiny movements, which is especially crucial on those higher difficulties. Quick tip for anybody who's dipping their PCI consistently is try starting your swing a little bit lower. Like if you're anchoring up at the top of the zone, try anchoring in the middle and then adjusting from there. This has always helped me when I'm getting under everything because it's easier for me to adjust up quickly than down quickly. Another thing if you're getting under it a lot is stop trying to hit a home run. If you try to hit a home run in this game, you're just going to try to be ultra perfect with your PCI placement, which is going to lead to a lot of pop-ups and outs. If you try to make solid contact with the middle of the baseball, you're going to see those home runs start to come for you. So now that you have some of the muscle memory down for the different pitches, you can try bumping the speed of the pitches back to normal, and you're going to begin to notice how even though the pitches are faster and harder to time up, you're going to have a general idea of where the pitches will start to go based on where they're starting out of the hand. If you're struggling with getting your timing down, make sure to check out my how to improve your timing video. I'll put the link in the description. This video will teach you another drill that will make these normal speeds look like beach balls, and it becomes very easy to hit them. When you train your muscle memory with this drill, you'll start to read that curveball that starts belt high, and you're going to know that it'll end up in the dirt so you can leave it. And when you see that slider movement and the pitch is already outside, you know it's going to be way out from your past practice. My final tip for you guys, which I never used to do because I didn't really think it mattered, is customize your PCI to how you prefer it. There are so many customization options on here that make a huge difference for how easy it is for you to get your PCI to the ball. Specifically, I like taking the edges off the PCI so I don't have anything blocking my view of the ball, which you can also do by dropping the transparency some like I have. I like to think of the PCI as the barrel of my bat as I swing, so I like a smaller PCI. It's just a mental cue that helps me get more locked in and have better placement. This one takes a little messing around with, and you can do this as you practice the previous drills. Thank you so much for watching. If this video helped you out, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.